Tonight I am sipping on a hot beverage made of leaves and talking about myself. <laughs> hey! Uh, hi! <laughs> Welcome to the Lizard Life! I'm Elizabeth Liz or Lizard, depending on how you know me, and it has been a while. This is my first video since moving back to Utah. It's been a lot longer than I expected it to be, but life just works out that way sometimes. So, um, in the last couple months, I have taken random clips of whatever's going on. Not all of it is fun. Not all of it is going to be good quality sound, but that's pretty typical for me. So, <laughs> let's get started. Raise your hand if you have no sense of time and thought that you could wait to start packing until after your last day at work and now you're freaking out a little bit because you only have three days to pack and you still don't have a place to live when you get back to Utah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Feeling a little bit better now because I got all of that packed up before a lunch break. Um, shout out to the podcast Willing and Fable for giving me the female empowerment I needed, as well as fairy tale and history and folklore, and just check out that podcast, you guys. Every single thing that I own is currently in this room. Plus Luna. No, wait! Now everything I own is in my room. <laughs> so right now there are movers packing up all of Simon's stuff. It's going to go to a storage unit after this. But um, it's kind of weird. I'm like sitting in my room playing on my phone and I really feel like, like I'm getting the same vibe as when I've been a uh, stand-in on movies. Just like waiting to be useful and hearing other people do their jobs and like trying to be out of the way and stuff. It's kind of weird, but also like I'm going to embrace that feeling because that's the industry that I want to be in. And an update, I'm currently in a big old empty room that has no actual light, so I'm using a lamp without a shade because the shade made it too dark. Um, also, this is the smallest vacuum you have ever seen, because <laughs> it's supposed to be like one of the handheld vacuums, but it also has an attachment to make it a push one. Sedna is not afraid of it, which is kind of funny and cool. And I just finished a meal from DoorDash, and the... DoorDash delivery person, uh, <laughs> well, let's just say the bag that the food came in very much smells like marijuana. So, um, <laughs> I'm so tired and I have so much work to do. Like, I was in and out of sleep from about 5 a.m. till like. 8.30 when I finally got up and I wasn't planning on getting up until 9 <sighs> so I'm sitting on the bathroom counter watching YouTube until DoorDash gets here with some coffee and breakfast and then hopefully I'll have the energy to clean oh my hands smell like bleach and I think they're going to smell like bleach for like a week because I have to clean. I still have to use the bleach today. I'm not done with it. Like I showered last night and they still smell like bleach. Got my food. Said and I can't decide if she wants it or not. <laughs> and this driver didn't smell like weed. Woohoo. <laughs> La 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 la
no. <laughs> this is sleep deprived plus shadows. <laughs> Quack, 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 And also, I got bleach on my butt and on my tank top, but I have another one that's this color, so that's okay. Um, so in the future you might see me, uh, doing bleach splatters on these sweatpants <laughs> to make it not look like there's just a freaking hole in my butt. So right now I'm staying at my husband's place until I find a new place to live um, and to try to make sure I'm not like taking advantage I decided to clean the kitchen today while he was at work and I was listening to music, and the song Waving Through a Window from Dear Evan Hansen came on. And I know a lot of people can relate to that song in that um, we all sometimes feel like nobody notices us or nobody's listening. Um, and I thought I'd just put in my two cents of how I relate to that song. Most of my life has been spent being the listener. People never really paid attention to me unless I was being really silly. Um, which was fun, but it's... Anytime I had something important to say, it felt like nobody wanted to listen. Honestly, that's kind of why I fell in love with a guy. <laughs> and got married to who I did, nobody had ever listened to me before or shown me the love that I needed until him. And now I've learned to take care of myself and make sure that I get that, but I really wouldn't be where I am if it wasn't for him. We still love each other so much, and that makes this so difficult. We love each other so much that we realize things are not fair if we stay together for either of us. And it's better if we're both free. It's healthier if we're not together. Even though it's painful right now. So that wound is really being reopened by me living in his apartment again. Kinda sucks. I really hope that I can find a place soon. Um, okay, vulnerable moment. Um, I ended up living there until the end of the lease. It was really nice living with him and my brother, but it was hard to. Um, the plan was to for me to move in with my uncle but we never ended up finding a place to go so right now i'm in my parents house which is why there's dolls there <laughs> uh those are actually my brother's dolls i'm kind of in the spare bedroom until further notice you know um through all of december i was keeping myself really busy so that i wouldn't have to pay attention to these difficult emotions, but pretty much as soon as Christmas was over, I started to feel really guilty. Like, I had ruined my husband's life, so I kind of spent a couple days just lying on my bedroom floor mourning, but then I spent a few hours with him again, and he reassured me that this is not all my fault. You know, there's not really anything I could have done differently. I think part of why I felt so guilty was because I'm not only leaving him because I'm gay. I'm leaving him because 
I was raised to be codependent with my partner. I just want to be free. I just want to live my life the way that I want to live it. I don't want to be so reliant on another person that I used to only do what I thought he would want me to do. And I know that that's not necessarily something that people told me to do. And I know for sure that that's not what he wanted. He wanted me to be my own person, which is why I am now. But I don't know, I'm still scared that if I'm in a relationship with anybody, I'll become codependent like that again. So leaving him feels selfish because it's so that I can be free. But he loves me enough that seeing me live my life and be happy and free is more important to him than the two of us being together. And that's really what love is. Anyway, here's a couple of fun clips from uh, just the last few weeks. Quick content warning for the first one. It looks like blood. I promise it is not blood. Okay? <laughs> I'm not saying I just murdered somebody, but it totally looks like I did. Actually, I'm just coloring my hair for fun. <laughs> this was actually only one clip. I thought there were more, but there aren't. But here's the really exciting thing. Back at all, like, right before all the moving crazy stuff happened, I purchased... A microphone! Um, so this next clip is me testing the mic. Uh, <laughs> except that it wasn't recording at all because Android phones don't usually allow external microphones with their built-in camera app, which is super annoying. So, I'm actually recording this on a new app I just downloaded first time hopefully it works just as well as the built-in camera but anyway here's some tests because i think they're fun Ooh, let's see if it picks up any echo if this is even working at all <laughs> trying to make a move to a town that's right for me okay not much I can do about the mess, please. Please work. Testing. Testing. Testing, 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 testing. testing. <laughs> Editing lizard here. Um, I'm still getting used to having a mic on my shirt. Uh, so the original outro I filmed for this video did not have good audio because I kept putting my hand or arm over the microphone. But basically just like, it's kind of strange to watch through these clips that I filmed, especially the ones in Seattle, because I mean, that whole three months feels like it was another reality or something or a dream. Like it just, it wasn't the same reality that I'm living in now. Especially because my hair was a lot darker. Like, it's grown out a lot. Like, several inches since then. Oh no! <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Tell you a secret. I'm also not wearing pants right now. <laughs> It's because the cat is sitting on my pajamas and I didn't feel like wearing day pants anymore. <laughs>